Ernst Barkmann was a German tank commander during World War II. He is known for the actions undertaken at the Barkmann's Corner, in which it is claimed he halted a major US Army armored advance in Normandy on the 27th of July 1944, for which he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. Barkman joined the SS in April of 1939 and served during the occupation of Poland. In the winter of 1942 and 43, he was posted to the SS division Das Reich on the Eastern Front. He was transferred to the second company of the Panzer Regiment of the 2nd SS Panzer Division Das Reich. In late 1943, Barkmann was transferred to the 4th Company, which was equipped with the new Panzer V Panther tanks. In February of 1944, Das Reich was ordered to France to form an armored reserve for the expected Allied invasion. The division reached the front in early July. On the 8th of July, Barkman's company was a spearhead of the Panzer Regiment's attack on the advancing American units. On this day, Ernst Barkman knocked out his first Allied Sherman tank near Senlo. On the 12th of July, he destroyed two more Sherman tanks while disabling the third one. After a day of rest in the morning of the 14th of July, Barkman was ordered to recover four Panthers that had been cut off behind enemy lines. He succeeded in his task and added three more Shermans to his score. On the 26th of July, Barkman's Panther suffered from engine problem and was sent to a field workshop. On his way back to the front, Barkman was stopped by the retreating German infantrymen who reported that Americans were closing in. Ernst Barkman decided to send two of his men to verify that report. They soon returned with the news of American column made up of some 15 Shermans and other vehicles approaching. Then Barkman moved his tank up to the road to the crossroad where he positioned his panther in the surrounding oak trees, awaiting the enemy. When the American column approached, Barkman opened fire, knocking out two leading tanks. Two Shermans tried to go around, burning wreckage that blocked the road, and one of them was knocked out, followed by the other one. In the response, Americans retreated and called up the tactical fighter support, and Barkman's Panther was damaged and some of the crew members were wounded. Using this element of surprise, two Shermans attacked the wounded Panther but were also knocked out. Barkman and his crew repaired their Panther and knocked out single Sherman while leaving. His driver managed to move their damaged Panther to the safety of a nearby village. During that engagement, which was later called the Barkman's Corner, Ernst Barkman destroyed approximately nine Sherman tanks and many other vehicles. The next day, Barkman joined the rest of his company. During two-day period, he destroyed 15 Shermans and other vehicles and stopped the US advance. For his bravery and skills, Ernst Barkman was recommended for the Knight's Cross and was awarded on the 5th of September 1944. He continued his successful career and took part in the Ardennes Offensive in December of 1944, where he was seriously wounded. During the offensive, 
Barkman's Panther drove into the group of American tanks from the 2nd Armored Division. Quickly, combat began and outnumbered Barkman managed to knock out a few Sherman tanks. One Sherman rammed Barkman's Panther but didn't cause much damage, although both tanks got stuck and the Panther's engine stole. After a few minutes, Barkman's mechanic managed to restart the engine and the Panther retreated with a blocked turret. Even with this damage, Barkman knocked out a Sherman that was pursuing him and retreated to safety, although his Panther was beyond the point of repair. In March of 1945, Barkman was once again fighting with the Soviets in Hungary, where he knocked out four T-34 tanks and brought the total score of the Reich division for the war so far to 3,000 enemy tanks destroyed. At the time, Das Reich was exhausted by non-stop fighting and the lack of replacement tanks. Barkman's unit alone had only nine fully operational vehicles, from which three were soon lost. By April of 1945, Barkman saw action south of Vienna during the fighting in Austria. There, his panther was hit by a mistake by friendly soldiers and Barkman, along with his crew, was wounded. Later on, his panther was disabled in a huge bomb crater and was destroyed by its crew. Barkman was able to reach the British zone of operation, where he was taken into captivity. Ernst Barkman survived the war and he lived in Kiesdorf, Germany, where he became the mayor of the town. A few years ago, Barkman's actions in Normandy were challenged by some military historians who analyzed the Allied war records and were simply unable to locate the losses claimed by Barkman. According to their narrative, Barkman's corner was simply a propaganda effort of the Waffen SS late in the war. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.